Hey, that's my room. Get out of there. Hey. He just kept going. He hey. Never said. <laughs> what the? Oh, he emoted on you. Where's my key? I'm gonna lock him in. Hey, and welcome to a new MNR vlog. We're at the Lego store because I needed to see Joey for a minute. And so I'm gonna show you guys the progress on Orlando Brick Co. Joey said they have six cases for used Star Wars sets and figures. Is that what you're talking about? Because obviously the. Who, who bought a Dagobah training? Yeah, somebody bought Dagobah, Death Star. Uh, well, we Jurassic gotta pull it, pull it forward. Who bought what? I thought you couldn't buy stuff yet. Uh, they came in and did a trade in. Oh. Yeah. And they bought wow. uh, N1 Starfighter. Oh, yeah, I see the gap. Now right, we're gonna sure that up. There we go. My merchandising job for the day is done. Yeah, the sets and the. Oh my god, it's actually like seeing all of the built sets together because obviously I've seen them like in the back rooms for a while but seeing them all together is uh kind of wild oh there's more over here more I think you could get rid of the buildable character section <laughs> some of them are nice no I know people will buy them they'll disappear this one is fantastic yeah but we're I mean it's a needle in a haystack too. yeah um no this is uh it's pretty solid oh there's more great yeah I'm glad oh, there is a good lot to see there's still. more there's a lot I'll show the rest of the space. So the back wall, that's like gonna be what? What are you gonna even put back there? Uh, there's gonna be, we're gonna keep our excess stock back there. Um, but on this side, excess it's gonna be more shelvings stock. for customers. Okay. Yeah, I definitely needed that because you, you needed more shelving, so. Yeah, all of our friends, Jurassic World and Mario. Don't it's going in the back room. Oh, is that the 18 plus section back there? No. <laughs> You're gonna put a little curtain? <laughs> I'm gonna try to lobby for that. That's my oh, goal. No. Yeah, so now, now we have this section back here. I guess there's one more case that has to go here, but yeah, Harry Potter. it's all mapped out on the floor, kind of. Got an opening day yet? Uh, yes. So April 1st, we're soft opening, and then we're going to have a big grand opening in May. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll be there. So they're working on putting up the slat wall over there. It's just like real construction. You have a bunch of people standing around, and then Lance doing all the work. Yeah. A lot of stuff here that's still not set up, like a lot of CMFs, a lot of minifigures, sets, builds. And then my room is like temporary storage right now. But anyway, that's that. I just had my order from Michael's come in with all of my cases. So I got a bunch of new cases for poly bags. Well, I really needed one for to finish the current display I have. So that's what we're going to do first. Okay, so this is not every poly bag figure ever, but it's a good uh, number of like the good ones. And the Chrome Stormy, which I just got in maybe a month ago, uh, sealed in bag, needs a a display so that it like actually looks even and good. So we're gonna throw it in this one. I think it needs to face that way. But there it is, Chrome Stormtrooper added in, and now I have the complete setup for this display. It's like actually not missing anything. It doesn't look awkward at all. So very happy with that, now filled in. Thinking about doing the other side with 12 more, but we'll see. Somewhat out of the blue, I decided to go to another Lego convention just today, just a one day thing for me. Um, it's in Orlando, it's like 45 minutes away, so I'm a little behind, but uh, we're gonna go for the for the day and have a good time. The plan is also to play poker with the Brick Show tonight, so I'm bringing my poker set. I don't know who else is gonna be playing with us, but I'm gonna bring that with me. And some tiles if I see people that know me. And this is my buy-in for the poker game. And that's my other stuff. So we're ready to go, I think. So I'm showing up here like two hours after it first opened. So I'm hoping I can get like semi-decent parking at the convention. All right, so I'm with Steven. I don't know, where, where's Mel? Oh, there he is. Oh, Mel Brown. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They got his whole set. He gave him a whole corner. Yeah. Is, this the, is this the Lego set? <laughs> Is this from the set? It's from the set, bro. No. <laughs> I'm here with Connor. You wanted to be in the vlog. Anything you want to say? Uh, uh, subscribe to MNR Productions. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Uh, What's up? Hey. How's it going? Oh. Good. I've been quick. watching you for years. Nice to meet you guys. I appreciate it. We'll walk around and explore a little bit, but I think last year the convention stopped at this line, so all this extra space over here is completely gravy extra space. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so they have the, the the Death Star here, sealed in box. It's got double tape seal, so you know it's safe. I, they probably actually did that like from the factory to make sure it was safe. I'm not sure, because these old boxes were like really heavy or like hard to keep together. But Death Star, and then Steven was also going to show me the Falcon. I think he said they're asking five thousand for the Falcon. It's, 
simply because it's the first edition one. I'm not sure really exactly what that's worth, but it has like the paperwork and everything, so that's pretty dang sick. I have a sealed UCS Falcon. Oh, that might be the paperwork. I have a sealed UCS Falcon at home, so I do not need it, but it would be cool to get the one with the like little logo on it that says official first edition, limited first edition. All right, I'm at Timmy's booth, and he's got a couple Alibaba Enochs. One of them, I don't know which one I think looks better. I need to look at the source material, but like the, it's interesting because Lego's obviously going to make one this summer. So I'm really curious how their helmet will look if they'll make a custom mold or if they're going to use, this is the old Stormtrooper mold, obviously, essentially. Um, so I don't know, but the cloth waist cape definitely looks nicer than the non-cloth waist cape. So that's another thing, but Lego definitely won't do that either way. So they have a sealed UCS Imperial shuttle for $2,100. And I'm going to be honest, I'm thinking about it. I would love to have that set sealed in the box. That looks phenomenal. Uh, $1,000 for the slave one is definitely a ripoff, which makes me think that's a ripoff and I need to check eBay. But uh, I mean, I'm just staring at it, like wanting it so bad right now. So as much as I would like to get that Imperial shuttle right here, right now, 2100 is about $800 over like current market value. Like the cheapest on eBay is like 1200 sealed in box for like a nice box. So dude, convention pricing is, uh, all, like, if you ever go to conventions, please, please, please check, cross-reference what things cost to eBay. Not Amazon, eBay, or Bricklink. Holy crap. So I was going to walk the Brick Show, and then something caught my eye over here. Just corner of the eye, little find. You know? You ever heard of it? Cloud City, 2003. That is just crazy to stare at. $12,000. Holy crap. Wow. The shopping area here for this store is just massive. It's probably one of the biggest, most expansive shopping areas I've ever seen in a uh, like center for a convention. The issue is I saw all of this stuff in Atlanta and I already know it's overpriced and too expensive. So should I even bother to look at like that R2-D2 has got? $110, retail is 100 Like I don't need that. $350 for UCS r 2 d 2 that I know is at Target right now for $240. Like that doesn't even like, why even like turn around? You know they've lost their mind when they're asking $110 for that battle pack? Holy crap. Yeah, battle pack pricing is uh, insane. I got the Star oh, Destroyer. You'll the see best. tonight at the Airbnb. I love the hideouts. I used to have these at Brick Fair. They were yeah. amazing. So Steven's got like a extra bin back here of sets. Who knows what's inside? Oh, uh -oh. it's a bin and a bin. That, that was... Oh, wow. There we go. Holy good, good, good stuff. Holy crap. Yo. Oh, yeah. I actually opened one of these like a year ago. That one. That one's open already yeah, for sure, yeah. A lot of these are open. Oh, wow. But they're in mint. I mean, all yeah. of them are in mint. A wing. Have that. Have that one. This one's sealed. That's sick. Yeah. That one is nice. I have that already. Just built that like a year ago. One tab on the top. Man. Captain Rex there, $400 for the alarm clock. Did you know that one has a helmet hole, but only in one side? I did know that. Is it because I told you? I I might have heard it. You might have heard it from through, the, through a grapevine? Yeah, some time ago. Yeah. Moss Espa. April 2022. Oh. Oh, no. It's a little dusty. No, that's the one from the bad episode with the oh. little bikes, the mopeds. It is cool. It's a good representation of it. It's just not, uh, yeah. Not one of the beloved pieces of Star Wars media, unlike. Yeah, 2014 MTT, not it. Those Basic things look amazing. Still gets the job done. This is... I like the pieces he used. My Naboo might have been better, except I didn't have, like, cool... Animals, He's got the little so alligators. I get beat on animals pretty bad here. Ooh. Did he do printless Geonosians for most of them? Oh, he bought like the zombie heads. I see. Zombie Geonosian heads for a lot of them. The this Acklay. Is the, uh, the best one he did. Yes. Although I will say that's a little oversized. Yeah, it's a large. It's a bit large. And then he puts the rare battle droids in there. That's cool. I love that. Amazing. Just finding out they have security here. Yeah, yeah, it's turned off. Beep, beep. Oh, it's not turned off. <laughs> <laughs>
The convention is closing, so they're putting garbage bags over everything for the night. Let's see the process. Wow. So the plan for the night here is to play poker at the Brick Show's Airbnb, which you can't really see. Oh, you can see behind me, but yeah, I'm excited. So Caleb and Lee, after the convention, ended up staying for another day at Blaine's house. And so they're coming to hang out with me today, which is exciting. So we're going to hit up a few Lego things in town. So we're with uh, Caleb Blackwell Bricks. What did you just get? Just got noodles for the first time. Oh, that. Oh. I was going to say a Brooklyn quarter. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got we got noodles with uh, Lee and Blaine and Anthony. And uh, they gave me my meal for free, basically on commission, I guess, because I brought all you guys there. Oh, I did not realize that, actually. But... No, she literally went, did you bring all these people here? I was like, yeah. And she's like... I got you. <laughs> it's like, ah, like, oh, cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the uh, Orlando Brick House, so we'll see what they think of the space. I'm excited to see it. Oh, yeah, did you notice the opening date sign? April 1st. That's an April Fool's joke, isn't it? It's just, no, it's the real day. It'll be open. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really filling in. Like, there's sets everywhere, except for this middle section. It's still a bit empty, but it's getting in. So what do you think, Anthony? First time? First time. This is uh, pretty impressive. Tear to your eye? It's uh, very, very nice in here. <laughs> wow. A lot of cool knickknacks. Oh, those, so, I, they didn't have, the light-up signs look so good. Holy crap. Wow, that was a really good idea. Those look amazing. And they, like, draw you to the section. Holy, what an idea. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh, I got three helmets. <laughs> yeah, there they are. One, 160, that might That's be the old price. price. Some of these are old prices. Like they're going to be <coughs> repriced before the, they're going to be repriced before the store opens. That's definitely not right. <laughs> yeah. Turn around. What do you think? I hope so. What do you guys think? This is mine. My, my pride and joy right here. Oh, I can tell you did it. <laughs> you can tell? Because <laughs> uh, it's well done. The target displays look better than this. What the heck? Why is this here? This is not supposed to be here. Tosses it. Yeah, throw it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah literally so you can kick them. Yeah. These lights, just the best. This wasn't here before. It's oh, they have another one down yeah, there, Ninjago. Down there. Minecraft over oh there. man, they I... got do they? Oh, and then there's like a non-labeled one just, <laughs> just there. Um, Lee's wow. taking tourist pictures of the, the uh, Iron, Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I, I, I love the battle droids. You like the battle droids? <laughs> I didn't even notice they had the GOAT UCSATST from 2006. No price on it though, but it looks beautiful. Got a couple of UCS Republic gunships set up in here. I assume these will go fast. I almost want to buy one just to have a dusty display model of my own to throw in my house and not have to build. That's a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Um, also, shout out Jeff over there. All right, you guys want to see my space? Yeah, they got pickles in there, dude. Pickles? They look like good pickles too. Pickle Rick, I'm gonna get you out of there. <laughs> All right, so right over here is uh, this is my office space back here. Come on in. Nice, dude. I was wondering where you. Step right in. Step right in. This okay. is All right. tight. What's this? So I'm gonna be filming videos Ooh, in here. It's oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, so over here I got my kind so of review, cozy. my review setup. Uh, here's where I clean the Lego that comes in. All right, all right. And all then right. we got the mirror just so I can check my makeup. You know, kind of everything you would need. And then a little fire alarm just in case. Well, you gotta have that safety first. Yeah, yeah. Where's your webcam okay. gonna be? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, the webcam goes in the corner pointing right at the toilet. <laughs> That's not illegal at all. <laughs> all right, no, my real space is over here. Come on. Turns. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's a pretty heavy door. Ooh. Come on in. So this is gonna be my my uh, filming room. So I'm gonna be filming stuff in here. It looks like they've been doing, like, interviews in here, honestly. Right now. Yeah, yeah, interrogations. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, oh, the the goal is probably to have a table like here-ish, camera points this way, kind of background wall, whatever, um, there, and then camera equipment, lights hanging from the ceiling. I can kind of do whatever I want with this room, so I'm open to ideas if you see anything or think <laughs> of anything. Like, I'm still kind of, it's a blank slate to me still, mostly, so. I keep it like this, it looks like a good cop, bad cop. Good cop, bad cop? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we're probably going to do like a flower pot thing on the outside with like a little awning we thought would be cool, like Lego flower pot, but also, it's like people will be able to see in but I don't want to be able to see out. Like, I don't want to see that people, like if someone wants to look oh, at what we're doing in here, yeah. whatever, but it's gotta be one way. So that was, that was the other, other deal. You're gonna banging on that window. You're no, I think there'll be something in front of it so it, you can't just walk up. So it's gonna be the Ryan exhibit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be in here all the time. Like this is, this is gonna be mostly for non-Star Wars videos unless I decide to do like a mock in here or something. Oh, he's asleep. So this room will be the dungeon because there's no windows, but 
this will be like the MR shop slash editing bay. So like for people that work for me, like Pearson, when he comes to work, he'll come work here instead of my house. And so he can edit here, uh, ship orders out of here. So like this, will, like we, you'll see at my house, basically I have like a closet that's kind of a storage space for my shop right now, but I'll expand it to be all of this and we'll just run all the operations out of here. Got some new sets in Tidarium, Octu Island. Those are nice. They're gonna ruin my setup over there though. Yeah, so this is gonna be the sorting area, Joey. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a big table here. Can you all put my shoes on? Why aren't your shoes on? I was cutting them. You're cutting your shoes? Yeah, there's a thread. Oh, I see it, yeah. yeah. You still didn't cut it off? Well, I was gonna, but you trying to help you. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have a big table back here to sort a uh, bulk that comes in. Yeah. And then uh, these will be sorted parts, so if you ever need a specific part, you can find them here. Oh. Yeah, maybe I will do my mock building here. Right here? No, back there. Oh, right there. <laughs> it would make I should start. I really should start yeah, do. You, do you think people want to watch me build them all? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How your mind works. Hey, that's my room. Get out of there. Hey. He just kept going. Hey. <laughs> what the? Oh, he emoted on you. <laughs> Where's my key? I'm going to lock him in. All right. We're here. Acme Superstore. The place to be. How do you get your phone out that fast? I'm, I'm always ready. I'm time. always ready. Yeah. That's how the vlog like, goes. Do it myself. Just as open. No. Just no. Mm -hmm. But it's a sealed bag. I don't know. It's taped <laughs> shut. Oh, so it's not open. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, don't. Yeah. Yeah. They have. Ooh, yeah. The front. I have a I'm just admiring the box. You gonna need? You gonna need? Just to find these at Dollar General. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. How much is it? Why would this one? No, yeah, they actually have decent pricing. Fifty-four dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they have good prices here. Caleb, Except six dollars for this battle yeah, so droid. I was selling this for a hundred this weekend. Yeah, yeah I was saying fun. they have good prices here, except for like the battle droids. But look at that, it's mix matched. For six dollars, yeah. Where are the nine dollars? Maybe they actually just lowered the prices. There's no Man, way. That's not sixty. That's not too. They were nine dollars. I swear. That one's eight ninety nine. Oh, I'm just now noticing. They moved. Other really um, they moved the five list Tantive hallway back there. Oh, I yeah. see. Fifty dollars. That was in my last Starting vlog. Yeah. New price. For yeah. It? No, it's fifty five, so we get five dollars. Oh, like Are you gonna buy that? Honestly it's not a good <laughs> He's holding it like he's no, gonna buy it. I've just... been finding that for thirty five all day. Here with considering we're in a third party store, this is not a bad price. <laughs> buy anything? No, I You don't need any vintage Dixie cups to go with your sacks? <laughs> Star Trek sacks? Uh, that deal. <laughs> context sounds so wrong. <laughs> Two dollars each or three for five. A deal. Three for five. Take my money. Oh buy three more. Oh yeah, I saw that last week. That one's a nice one. It's like anime. 150 bucks, it yeah. It does look kind of anime. Look at her eyes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So everyone came to visit and I broke my starter shore a little bit and I was looking at it and I realized one of these is one brick further up than the other. Oh, that is the worst. The embarrassment. I'm gonna have to go watch my old video and see if in 2019 when I built this, if I built it like that. And no Cause it had to be, there's no way I fixed, there's no way. It was under a towel for a long time. Do you think so someone commented on it? Probably. People people catch it all. Anytime I mess something up, people will catch it. I feel like I was really all over the place this week. Also, I won poker. I never said that, but I did win poker. So all of these battle packs became mine. So I, I tipped the dealer one. So I would have had seven, but now I have six. That's literally like five times more battle packs than I bought prior. But anyway, that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more vlogs. And I'll see you next week.